Hey y'all, it's your girl Empress Cheryl. Okay, I'm gonna get a little camera action in just a little bit um today okay so we're gonna do this thirsty thursday reading okay um for this thirsty thursday reading i specifically chose decks that have um lots of pictures and images because i want to like you know what i'm saying get a little descriptive with today's thirsty thursday reading also i um i have these like songs song messages pretty much songs, okay, with the artist and the name of the song on these note cards. So what we're going to do after um, pulling some of these cards is see what type of songs this person that's thirsting over you wants you to listen to, like what type of messages, to see what type of messages you can get from those songs, okay? So that's that. So let's just kind of get into it, okay? Thirsty Thursday reading. Who? is thirsting over the collective okay who is thirsting over the collective let's see let me say this video is intended to be posted on instagram as well as youtube um and the intention is for it to have messages for whoever comes across you know this video so take the messages that resonate for you okay let's see who is thirsting over you or who is desiring you or who is sending you thirst traps okay oh who is it they don't want to be known Okay, we have MC Light with skill. Maybe someone who is studying. Maybe someone who is increasing their skill. Maybe someone who is studying you. Maybe someone who has a short um, haircut. Um, maybe someone who is on 10%. <laughs> I don't know. Someone who, uh, you know, wears sweaters, wears, you know what I'm saying, with the collars type thing, lipstick. I'm just getting... um. Maybe like stern face, maybe into um, mathematics, maybe into, you know, calculations, doing calculations, something like that. Or just someone that's um, working on increasing, increasing their skill, okay? Um, or someone who is very skilled, someone who's been in the game for a minute in whatever, in whatever game <laughs> they are in, okay? Uh, we have Remy Ma with Courage someone who is courageous or someone who is courageous to um so really what i got for this is someone who's courageous to like uh try again or kind of like step back um step back into things you know what i'm saying remy ma stepped back into uh the rap game after being out you know what i'm saying for a minute so take those messages how it resonates for you it could also be someone who has um long hair as well maybe you know what i'm saying you might if you think of someone with long hair and a white shirt on if that's what comes to you then you know what i'm saying take that message all right uh we have lauren hill with inspiration maybe someone who is inspiring maybe someone who has received awards or is receiving awards or is receiving accolades or something like that um for what they do or for um you know, how they inspire others. We have Eve with change. Maybe someone who is changing. Maybe someone who um, has changed. Maybe someone who is... Um, I'm just getting has changed the game, really, is is the thought that I just got. I don't know, like a lot of these cards, um, I don't know what game y'all... <laughs> what game y'all in. But, um, you know, someone has changed the game, all right? That's what I'm getting with this Eve card here. Or someone who is going through changes or something like that in their, their life. Again, could have a short haircut. Um, could have blonde hair as well. Um, with this Lauren Hill card, could they could have locks. Um, also, let's see. Who is thirsting? Who is thirsting over the collective? We got all different skin tones here. All different types of hues. 
We have Moni Love with peace, someone who is peaceful, someone who keeps the peace, maybe someone who is quiet, maybe someone who um modest, maybe someone who wears hats or someone who wears um emphasizes peace or someone who wears like a peace symbol um or something on them as well. But I'm just getting kind of like calm, free-spirited person. I kind of I got the mindset of hippie as well. Um but you know, take that if it resonates for you. Let's see. Who is thirsting? Who is thirsting on the correct Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be the final ones with this deck. Okay, we have Lady of Rage with Fight. This could be someone who is a fighter or someone wants to fight for you or someone who is in some type of battle right now maybe someone who is upset with this lady of rage uh, right here maybe someone who is trying to get their frustration out or wants to get their frustration out um if uh maybe green is their color or if green is of any significance to you then take that you know what i'm saying we got some afro puffs over here too we also have so sweetie with style maybe someone who has nice style, really emphasizes um, their style, emphasizes, you know what I'm saying, like finesse and being, you know what I'm saying, I, I just got so fresh and so clean, so that, and then we have um, Beyonce with love, maybe someone who um, performs on the mic, uh, maybe someone who, um, it's just all about love. I'm getting as well, you know what I'm saying? Someone who's all about love. Also, when I was reading this card today, um, I was reading something about this card today and it was talking about like in this deck, um, this card can represent the high priestess as well. So this this individual could be um could be a high priestess. Um also, okay, so let's see who is thirsting. Over the collective, who is thirsting over the collective? Who is thirsting? We have Queen of Sheba, Secrets Revealed, okay? This is maybe someone who has a secret or is holding a secret or whatever or wants to tell you about a secret. This also could be just someone who is, um, I'm just getting the, the energy of being um, affluent, being well off. Y'all look up Queen of Sheba. Um, she was the wife to King Solomon, okay? Um... Yeah, if number 36 means anything to you, then uh, take that as well. Then we have Sequoyant with Scarcity, number 21. Maybe someone who is dealing with that right now. Maybe dealing with um, scarcity or lack or um, not feeling like they have it or something like that or feeling like someone else is pulling from them or, or something is is also kind of what I'm getting um but this could be uh I'm just looking at both the images like this could be like an older um individual as well as well as a um younger person like or this could be you know what I'm saying maybe they have old energy of an older person you know what I'm saying with features of a younger person or you know what I'm saying something like that um also okay um that was number 21 also if that means anything to you we have number 16 assassaya with joy okay maybe someone who is um in a joyful place in their life or someone who emphasizes joy someone who emphasizes um happiness someone who is all about um nurturing as well um and just i'm just getting just kind of like bringing life or sprouting life um you know what i'm saying maybe someone who breastfeeds maybe someone who you see breastfeeding or something like that maybe someone who has a baby um but yeah i'm just getting like sprouts life or brings life to other things okay let's see who is thirsting over you who is thirsting 
We have number 26, Katesh with Sacred Lust. Can I show this? Hold on. Let me see. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is um a goddess who I want to say this is like the the goddess to the kings or something like that. But this is someone who um high powered kings lust after okay so this could be someone that is lusting over you okay a goddess of lust all right um we have that's number 26 if that means anything to you and then we have number 38 queen nefertiti with alchemy okay so this is someone who um this could be someone who is like very in control of their um, energy or knows how to manage energy well, like knows how to, you know what I'm saying, alchemize the energy around them or, energy, you know what I'm saying, their own energy or energy of others. Um, okay, list, that number is number 38, if that number means anything to you, okay? So I'll get a few more of these and then let's get some songs. All right, who is thirsting over you? Who is thirsting over you? We have rejection. Maybe someone who you rejected or maybe someone who, yeah, is not clear. Maybe someone who has a lot of different options or something like that and trying to figure out who to reject or something like that. Uh, with this rejection card or maybe someone who is feeling rejected yeah yeah i don't know maybe someone who is um yeah feeling rejected or feeling not not used or not worthy something okay who is thirsting over you who is thirsting we have miracle maybe someone who um either considers you a miracle or someone who you view as a um miracle um in your life or someone who constantly um has miraculous things happening or you know what i'm saying around them let's see who We have service, maybe someone who is of service to others, maybe someone who works in the service um, field, could be someone who cares for family members, could be someone who cares for um, older individuals, someone who um, cares for people who may be, um, I'm just getting kind of like maybe about to um, transition as well, is kind of what I'm getting also, okay? So... Let's get some songs, all right? Let's get some songs from this individual who is thirsting over you. What type of messages can you get from these songs? Go listen to the songs and see what messages you get, y'all. Song messages. Okay, we have Summer Walker, Girls Need Love, okay? Summer Walker with Girls Need Love. We have um, Find My Way by D Smoke, Toby Nguyenway, Nguyenway, and BJ the Chicago Kid. Let's see. So go listen to those two songs, Girls Need Love and Find My Way. And then we're just going to use the rest of these that fell out. Five Five by Toby Nguyenway and Fat. Um, we have Be Encouraged by William Beckham. Okay, go listen to that. We have um, Little Red Corvette by Prince and Apparently by J. Cole. Okay, so y'all go listen to these um, songs and see what messages you get from these songs. All right, y'all, we gonna leave it there and y'all have a jazzy day.